Hello, welcome to Chuck's Diecast Car and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this car. This is the McLaren 600 LT. Uh, this particular model is built by Solido and is in 118 scale. All in all, it's a pretty decent model for the price. I think I paid about $55 for it. And like I said, given the price, you know, it's not a bad model. You know, these are comparable in price and perhaps a little bit better in quality than Barago's, but since Barago is up their game a little bit and their models are better, you know, it's uh, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, you know, these Solidos I am, like I said, fairly happy with. I have uh, picked up a few of these in uh, the last year or so, uh, mostly of race cars. But uh, I have uh, picked up a few road cars like this one. Um, for those of you who don't know much about the uh, 600 LT, um, the McLaren 600 LT is uh, a uh, sort of a hopped up version of the 570S. Um, the numbers of each are sort of representative of the amount of power that they're uh, respective motors provide in horsepower. Uh, the 600 LT from what I understand also has upgraded suspension. Um, the LT stands for long tail although this really doesn't have any longer of a tail than uh, 570S really. Um, the term LT is a term um, that was used for uh, the long-tailed race version of the McLaren F1, so I guess they figured they'd take advantage of that historical term to refer to their performance versions here uh, at McLaren. Um, but uh, again, you know, this is a the 570 or the 600 LT uh, is an excellent car. I mean, I would love to have one. Um, you know, it's uh, uh, all the performance you really need in a car. So, uh, you know, I'm sure it would scare the living crap out of me if I were to put my foot on the accelerator hard. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the model itself. Um, it is a, as I mentioned, a pretty decent model, but it does have its flaws. And I'll go over that, you know, when... Uh, I review it here, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> First of all, um, if you look at the paint, it's fairly decent in terms of, you know, lack of, uh, you know, uh, orange peel or anything like that. Although you may notice here around uh, the uh, body lines and around the uh, fuel filler cap it's sort of thin in those areas there uh, so it's not uh, almost like it's not fully colored maybe you could have used another coat of paint or something like that um, but um, but again uh, the the color isn't bad and the paint uh, you know is pretty flat as well um, taking a look here at the uh, sides um, you'll see here First of all, this is one of the flaws I'm talking about. If you look at that little blade in front of the tire, you'll see that the carbon fiber texture has some sort of funkiness to it. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, all one texture, which it should be. I don't know if this is something I can clean out using maybe some uh, alcohol or something. Maybe it's some residue left from the casting or something, but. I'll see. Um, taking a look here at the rear wheel, you'll see that the detail is pretty nice there. You can see that it's got, you know, Pirelli P0s. Um, it's got perforated uh, disc brakes there, uh, which are pretty sharp. The caliper looks pretty good. Uh, you'll see here that actually there is the parking brake caliper as well. Uh, but you'll also see here that the caliper 
does not turn. I mean, the rotor does not turn with the, t the tires there. So that's uh, a little interesting because if you look at the front, you'll see that the rotor does turn with the tire. So <clears throat> that is pretty interesting. Detail there for the uh, 600 LT badging on the side is pretty good. And also, you'll see there that the uh, carbon fiber texture on the uh, mirror looks pretty decent as well. So, uh, good on them for that. Okay, regarding the uh, front of the vehicle, you'll see here that detail again is fairly decent. Uh, headlights look good. Uh, you'll see that they did put some effort into getting detail in the headlights. The uh, front grill or the front uh, bumper, I guess you can say, shows um, you know those little round doohickeys for sensors, as well as what appears to be a uh, removable panel there, probably for a tow hook. So again, not bad there. Uh, detail on well you can see there it's not bad there on the uh, the dashboard also so pretty good there too okay um, now you'll notice that the uh, front trunk does not open nor does the engine cover but then again the engine cover doesn't open for customers anyway uh, I think it's a several our process actually to remove this engine cover so your McLaren mechanic can work on the car so uh, you know unfortunately we can't see it but then like I said neither can the owner um, you'll see here that the rear wing also includes that uh, carbon fiber texture and that funkiness uh, of the texture there as well um, and like I said, hopefully I'll be able to do something about that. Uh, when you look at the rear here, uh, detail is pretty decent here too. The head, or the tail lights, excuse me. The, uh, uh, I guess uh, the turn signal and the brake lights look uh, not too bad, as well as the reverse lights there too. Um, the um, the uh, I do like that uh, license plate there too. Um, there is no exhaust to see because as you can see here the exhaust is actually on the deck lid and uh, of course the uh, uh, Extractor there for the diffuser at the back uh, looks pretty decent there also um, I think actually You know one of the highlights here of this car is the detail on the interior So let's uh, go ahead and open this door here and we'll take a look as you can see, it is very nice in here. You, detail on the steering wheel looks good. Detail on the dash and the seats, not bad at all. Um, uh, there's a, you can see in there that the pedals are not bad there too. Even the steering wheel has a little orange, uh, uh, you know, top dead center, I guess you call it. Uh, marker at the top like the real car does so again very well done there um, I'll go ahead and open the uh, other door here so we can take a look from there too and you can see again that the detail is very nice so again for a $50 $55 model I am pretty happy with this um, and you know if uh, I'm sure that if you were to order it um, you'd be pretty happy as well because, uh, uh, you know, it's actually, you know, I haven't seen any other um, McLaren models of this price point out there that, uh, um, you know, that, you know, well, actually I haven't seen any McLaren 570S's or 600 LT's at this price point. So, um, so yeah, um, you know, if you want to save some money over getting a high-end model, uh, like I said, you should be fairly happy with this one. So anyway, uh, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.